that out. We cannot be defeated. Oh no. Wow. Haha. Perfect. Follow me. No stopping now. We will be victorious. <laughs> What? Ha oh, okay. Meal reminder, huh? Fuck. I love how any time Thorkin hits somebody, they fucking explode. Oh, right. Uh huh. March on. Everywhere I go, the pole I hangs tire over everything. Of waiting. Though it is done. It was better before I arrived. I'm not that surprised. Cool. Forget it. Died of unknown causes. Really? Is that a a dueling sword, huh? So if I can't equip that, who can? Oh, apparently no one in this party. Oh my god! Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. It is done. Who will prevail? What does it matter? Oh god, mites. Can I beat giant centipedes? Doesn't seem like I can. <sighs> Fucking shit. <laughs> this old sycamore place is insane. I'm just gonna not be here any longer. No stopping now. What's that? 
What is that? Token of the Dryad. Cobalt Sentinel? The hell happened to you people? A cobalt lying in the middle of the patch calls out to you, judging by the sorry state of his scales. He is the eldest of the group. His red eyes squint from the light and his throat struggles to form words. Our patch. Our celestial radish. Yik! Radishes! We grew them back in my village. One day, while I was reading a book, my pa grabbed it from me and threw it into the fire. Then he made me go and pick radishes. Wow, what a piece of shit. It was autumn and the ground was wet and cold, then there were worms everywhere. About that radish. The oldest kobold lifts his head from the ground and tries to focus his eyes on you. Huh. Cool. Shoo the radish, search for the secret truth, small and big, what? The kobolds who are lying nearby answer with a devout murmur, at least those who aren't sleeping. Little philosophers, aren't they? Wouldn't expect that. Wouldn't expect. Okay. March on. Stopping now. It is done. Oh, my fucking God, what? Oh god, oh god, please, please don't, please don't. I could really use... I could, I would really like to be alive. Ah! What did I pick up? A chain shirt. Plus one. That could be useful for you. Cool. Onwards. Ancient Rustlandic coin, huh? Oh no, wolves. How? Alright, let's see. Can I deal with wolves? March on. God damn it. Oh shit. This won't kill me. For fuck's sake. There we go. All the pelts are mine. 
I am the pelt collector. I'm surprised I succeeded in that, actually. How about we... Um, I don't know if I want to camp just yet. It is done. I haven't really explored this place enough. Okay, so there's nothing over there. Clear. Ooh. Ooh. Here's the thing, though. If I run into another fight, I'm gonna die. Fuck it. I, I have to camp. I don't have a choice. And here we fucking go. Hey, Amiri. What are you thinking about? Uh, I'm thinking... If you tear off a halfling's legs, would she be a quarterling? That's kind of mean. Perfect. There we go. What? Thork and Iron Blue suddenly awoke inside the house. Dogs were howling fiercely, not far away. It smelled like burning. The wooden walls were steaming hot, and smoke was wreathing beneath the low ceiling. He jumped out of the window. Kicking out the window, Thork and Iron Brew jumped out into the darkness. An arrow hit his shoulder, and he heard laughter and shouts of triumph. He surged forward to the rope bridge, reaching the middle of the river. Thork and Ironbrew cast a glance back and noticed that a young man wearing an antlered helm cut one of the ropes with an axe. The bridge began to collapse as its ropes twisted and snapped. Thork and Ironbrew's skin felt cold. He heard the murmur of the water and the soft lapping of the waves. After opening his eyes, he saw a rocky river bottom and a bloated body tangled in green water weeds. The drowned man's empty gaze was fixed upon Thork and Ironbrew. The drowned man's mouth opened slowly and a hoarse whisper said, Shrike River. At this moment, Thorkin finally awoke. Drenched in sweat, he told us what he'd seen in the dream. Are you serious? Patience. How aren't you healed more? Check that out. Check that out and oh. No stopping now. Ah! Oh my fucking fuck. Okay, they seem to be friendly. Arrest is in Why I don't know, but the beast before you is unusually large, and its eyes especially angry. Its menacing grin might almost be taken for a smirk. Greetings, traveler. Before you draw your weapon, I wish to say I see no reason for feuding between us. We might even be of some use to each other. Wait, why is this wolf talking? Is it magical or something? I am no wolf female, I am a warg. Surprising you could live to your age without learning the difference. Well, it's never too late to teach a lesson to an insolent two-legged morsel. Yeah, who are you? You may call me Graruk. I've lived here far longer than the rulers of those foolish tribes. I have seen much and eaten many. Why would you tell me that? Uh, we could be used to each other. Bring me someone delicious. Three or four bodies will be enough, and I, as a sign of gratitude, will tell you where an old traveler buried his chest. Yeah, if you're hungry, then hunt. 